How does breathing play into all of this? Oh, it's huge. It's it's it is the essential component of communicating non-verbally as a human being. Um, the breath tells you a lot about an individual. You know what? You know if if I were to start a conversation really tense, you can probably anticipate what types of words or at what vigor those words are going to come out of my mouth. If I'm if it's if it's you can also tell something different too. So the breath has everything to do with it. Um, and the same thing too, that breath has to occur in the appropriate style, tempo, and dynamic. And it also has to, you know, tempo is important. It has to happen in time. So if you're going to give a cue on beat two, you know, to prepare that cue, you need to move on beat one. You also need to breathe on beat, beat one to help enter into sound the person you're going to give that cue on. Two, three, four. Or if it's on beat four, one, two, three. Four. So the breath is is directly tied to that gesture, um, and it's directly tied to you know the 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 physical and the non and the non physical por- you know non physical non verbal portion of, of that communication triangle for sure. Excellent. The last thing that I that kind of is an offshoot of that that I that I think is important for undergrads too, is that that initial beat. So that you know that first uh, the the upbeat before you come in with that first downbeat. about it being in time because one of the biggest things that that i'll see even watching student teachers is that this will be out of time and then the students are just every which way with tempo try so how how do they how do you go about practicing that so um I, so when you're as a conductor you know your body is a target so you want to have the clearest target for your ensemble to be aiming at when you go to when they go to approach sound. So it goes, you know, so conducting works because of consistency and because of contrast. And so it all starts with what do you do before you give that first prep. So standing nice and tall, looking at the ensemble, not fidgeting, not doing any extra movement, but being in a place of still and calm so that when you raise your hands to give that cue, they're going to actually respond and they're going to be able to focus in on what you're going to be doing as opposed to fixing your hair, scratching your nose, um, you know, fidgeting, making sure that, you know, your pelvis is in line and all that other stuff or whatever too. Uh, so you need to, you need to be able to prepare the ensemble by giving them quiet, calm, stillness and control. Cause that's what they need to, that's what they need for that first note. They need to see your confidence. They need to see that you know what you're going to do and that you're going to lead them forward. Um, and that has everything to do with posture and demeanor. So start with a still demeanor, Bring that up, engage with, you know, your face with your body. Don't look down at your score for that very first note. You should have the, by going through K through 12 public school education, you should, and our tax dollars have paid for you to have the memory to know what those first two notes sound like. So don't look down. Music doesn't happen down at your score. It happens out in the ensemble. So set up, look at the ensemble, engage, and then breathe in time. And so that that's a loaded statement. There's a there you know the, I spend probably two classes talking about everything that you have to do to get to that point, um, all the variables you know calming yourself down, score study, knowing where to look, um, you know getting the extra vibrato out. But I mean that's really what it is. Um, conducting is just leadership. Conducting um, is a human experience that you that the ensemble will or will not join you with based on how you physically prepare yourself, which has everything to do with the breath and how that influences that prep beat. And like Dr. Payne said, if it's not in time, no wonder the bands don't come in in time because their conductor's showing them exactly how out of time they are. I mean, so you just got to clear, clear your mind, know exactly what to do, trust yourself, trust the group, you know, prep, up, go, or, you know, jump, dive, you know, jump, up, die, or splash. You know, diving board is another analogy that you use, you know, spring, up, water. You know, that's another thing that you can do too. So there's a lot of things in that statement, but for me, it just kind of comes down to, you know, if you want them to play, you need to set yourself up to allow them to have that experience, which means silencing yourself, calming down, um, and just putting, be able to put your money where your mouth is with your preparation, which, you know, goes back to what we talked about, which is a whole nother issue too. Mm-hmm.